everyone, it's Olga from Olga's Flavor Factory and today I'm going to use my waffle maker to make something a little bit unusual. Potato waffles. These potato waffles really remind me of potato pancakes. They have a very similar flavor because we're going to use the exact same ingredients. But since they're cooked in the waffle iron, they're a lot thicker. They have that golden crisp exterior. They're really good. I think you're going to like these. Plus, this is another way for you to use your waffle maker. Not just on delicious Belgian waffles for breakfast, but now you can have something savory to enjoy too. The ingredients that we're going to need are some potatoes, of course. I really like using these gold potatoes. They have just the right amount of starch in them and they don't discolor. Plus, they taste really good. We also are going to use one small onion, one egg. We also need some salt and pepper, a little bit of all purpose flour, and we also need some oil. This is just sunflower oil. You can use any oil that you like, and this is just for the waffle iron. Alrighty, let's get started. So I'm going to peel the potatoes and the onion and then grate them on a box grater. So I've test this recipe multiple ways and I figured out that it's best to use raw potatoes, not the frozen hash browns from the store. I've tried those too and they just don't stay together as well as when you use raw potatoes. And also I'm going to use the medium holes on the box grater. I've tried using the large holes on the box grater too and most of the time the potatoes, especially in the middle, don't cook through all the way. So it's best to use the medium holes. They are going to cook through because they're nice and fine and they're also going to be the perfect consistency to make it kind of like a batter so you can spread it out on the waffle iron really well. You'll see what I mean when we're doing it. Once I've grated most of the potato and I only have a little piece left, I like to grate it on the smallest holes of the box grater like I would do for potato pancakes. When you grate them on these tiny holes of the box grater, it's going to become like a batter, like a puree, and it's going to fill in all of the holes between the strands of potato and make it more of a batter consistency. These strands of potato will hold together much better when we have just a little bit of the potato batter too. I grate the onion on the medium holes of the box grater too. The onion will add flavor to the potato waffles, of course, but it also keeps the potatoes from discoloring, so it keeps them a much brighter color than if you wouldn't use onions. This is the consistency that it should look like once you're done grating the potatoes and onion. And if you use a different type of potato, some of them are more watery than others. If you have a lot more liquid than this, then just use your spoon and drain most of it out. Now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients, the egg, salt, pepper, and flour and mix it all together. I like mixing up the egg separately with a fork before adding it to the potatoes. Preheat the waffle iron. On some waffle irons, you can choose different levels of crispness, so I usually choose the most crisp option. Generously grease both sides of the waffle iron with oil, making sure to get oil in all of the crevices. As a potato mixture stand, sometimes it will get a little bit more watery, so you can just use your spoon to remove the excess liquid from the top. Fill the waffle iron with the potato mixture, spreading it out to fill most of the surface of the waffle iron. For my waffle iron, I'm going to get four waffles, so I'm going to divide this mixture into four. You can also add some grated cheese, cubed ham, cooked sausage or bacon, green onions or other herbs to the potato batter when you're cooking this to add more flavor and texture. 
One of the indicators that I look for when cooking waffles is to see if there's a lot of steam coming out of the sides. That usually means that it's still not done cooking. There's a lot of moisture inside that is steaming. So once you see the steam start to go down, then it's time to start checking to see if they're ready or not. Oh yeah, look at that. The potato waffles are a lot more crisp when you just take them out of the waffle iron, but if you stack them on top of each other, they're gonna get a lot softer. It's usually a little bit more pale on the top and it'll be more crisp and golden on the bottom. Get the principal recipe at oldestflavorfactory.com and I'd love to hear what you think when you make them. Also, leave me a comment and let me know all the creative ways that you use your waffle maker besides making waffles.